So here we have the Ford Echo Sport on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, we have the speedometer. Fuel gauge in the middle at the bottom. And then above that, the total miles of this car, which are 20,400. You can change the information displayed there by pressing the button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information back around to the beginning again. We back out to the steering wheel. Stereo and phone controls are on the left-hand side just here. And over on the right-hand side, we have cruise control for the car. In the center, you will find the main stereo and the screen directly above that. So as you can see for yourself, we have DAB radio. This car also has uh, AM and FM as well. Every push of the radio button will take you round in a circle through all of the different uh, wavelengths or bandwidths. Uh, back around to the beginning again. We have a CD player for the car. We've also got uh, USB input, as you can see. Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly. The auxiliary input just there too. And all of that is adjusted with the buttons down the left-hand side just here. We have the main volume for the stereo in the center. And then beneath that, the climate control for the car. So uh, you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, and you can see it adjusting in the middle. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on or off again, of course, or hit auto, the car will now maintain the temperature that you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that manually at any time you wish to, and auto has now gone off. We have a heated rear screen and a heated front screen as well. Beneath that, heated driver's seat with two heat settings and the same for the passenger side just here. We have then a five-speed manual gearbox, auxiliary, and USB inputs just here, as well as a 12 volt charging socket. Um, and then up on the main screen, this car also has satellite navigation. Um, we've done a video showing how it works, which you can find on our website and YouTube channel. We hold the SD memory card here uh, within uh, the file for this car, rather than leaving it in the car. Uh, so that obviously will come with the vehicle. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.